Correction. <clears throat> Last week, I announced that it was episode 61. This is episode 61. See? I was making like a typical, generally accepted accounting practice uh, accountant and stealing next week's thunder. Or money or customers or income or whatever, or business. But anyhow, now, I'm not wrong very often, but when I'm wrong, I want to be the first to let you know. So there you have it. I was wrong about something, and we all know it. See? 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 What? You have no idea how many people I talk to. Jesse, are you ever wrong? Why are you... Ne you, you just... You never admit you're wrong. Why can't you ever be wrong? I was wrong. See? No big deal. Last week was 60. This is 61. What, what are you looking at? Well, I... No... Okay, I'll, I'll admit that, that probably the attitude thing is more of a personal thing. Well, you know, the, the thing is... You know, Jesus talked about how a prophet is not welcome in his hometown. You know, there's a principle, you know, that it says something. I don't know. It's just, we, 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 I, I think I talked about this a few weeks ago. It's hard to imagine that your own friends, you know, are brilliant. You, you know, I mean, after all, why would you have anyone who knows anything as your friend? What, why, why would you have any friends that are smart about stuff? Huh? Yeah, he he couldn't possibly know anything. He's my friend. I I mean, I don't have friends that are right about things. I, I mean, you know, think about the implication of of you know being upset about the idea that your friends might know more than the people on TV. Like they might be more accurate. They might you know know how to solve the problems that companies don't want to fix. I mean, companies don't want people who can fix problems. They want people that they can control. I mean, uh, you know, you know how much money there is in status quo? People that know stuff upset status quo. They've got to be fired, eliminated because then the boss, who's only there because his buddy's got him in charge, isn't going to be able to compete with all those people that know so many things. They'll get wise to him. Not not that he's there because you know, he's, he's really there to look at the girls around the corner or because his buddies got him there so he could get in his company and then he's going to like give their companies some unnecessary business and keep their little friend circle money thing going. They, not, not that his employees would be wise to him playing those games, but his employees would get wise to the fact that he doesn't know what he's doing. So, I, you know, I mean, hello... Big companies don't want smart people. They'll put out advertisements saying they do to try to get, you know, applicants. But that's, that's nonsense. If companies wanted smart people, they wouldn't hire MBAs as the bosses of a bunch of engineers. If, if a company was smart, they'd have a hire an engineer to be the boss for the engineers. But when your life is all about negotiating and getting along and managing meetings and making people think what you want them to so they think it was their idea and cooking the books and covering your tracks as your friends all had their little crony mutual admiration society thing. When, when that's your life, you don't want to spend time studying math and engineering and hardcore research and development and and, and really actually understanding stuff. You want a position where you can easily be a faker. You know, you'll go, go change the company mission statement. We'll, we'll give the logo a revamp. We'll have the external appearance that I'm actually useful for something. That's what they want. Oh, we need, we need talent. Let's get talent. These people think we don't want to hire talent because of the, the 500 awesome employees we fired last month. So the, the solution is marketing. We need talent. Yeah, right. You know, see, that's the stuff that's going on at Google. When you get, or, you know, wherever, you know, the, the kind of stuff that goes on in situations like that. I don't have any information. I'm not playing, claiming to report any news about Google, per se. And this podcast is largely spontaneous and edited. So just remember that. So it's not carefully written out and scripted. But, see, like Google, for example, had these employees fighting about, you know, one guy and how do we solve problems. And one guy has his honest manifesto thing and then he gets fired for it. It's, it's... It, 
you know, people think there's some grand conspiracy. They think that there's some, oh, this is the left trying to take over the universe. Well, they're always trying to do that. But what's really going on, I think, I think, when, when you have the, the scandal like the Google Manifesto and the truth teller getting shot, it's, it, it, it's nothing more than he upset the status quo and the bosses in charge who don't know what in the world they're doing. They're there because their friends got them there. They are threatened by someone who's actually thinking. They don't, he gets on stage. I mean, it, 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 it's like the story of, of the pop musician who's out on stage and, and he's lip syncing and the CD at the concert that, that he's lip syncing to starts skipping and he doesn't know what to do. So he just runs off stage. It, it's like that. You're, you're a leader in the company. You're trying to pretend to have a discussion to, to make it look like you're, you're doing something like, like the company, you know, has a leader doing stuff and there's activity and it looks good on a stock report and all that stuff. And you're there trying to pretend to do this thing while you got your crony circle going on. And, and some guy actually, he, he says something that involves thinking. Well, you've never done that before, if, if you're the, the leader of this thing anyway. So you don't know what to say to him in front of everybody. I mean, what, what are you going to say? Uh, well, uh, that was interesting. Uh, who's next? I mean, that doesn't make you look smart. You're supposed to have something intelligent to come up with. You're supposed to be able to pretend like you can talk on his level and like you're the same. See, that's, that's what you're supposed to be able to do on stage. And when you're a leader and some guy has something so brilliant to say that you don't know how to keep faking it with this really smart guy next to you, you, you got it. You got to fire him. That's what I think really goes on all over the place. Drop the conspiracy jazz. Just stop it. Don't. I mean, if there are conspiracies, then the police will deal with it. If they can't, then you can't either. Just forget it. It's just too much hysteria. I, I, I tell you, my band director would always tell me. Say, Jesse, what difference are you going to make? And I, I, that, that's what he said about Second Amendment. I said, I asked him, I said, what do you think about Second Amendment? He says, if it makes you feel safe. But when the U.S. military decides that they're going to come against you for whatever reason, good or bad, you and your shotgun are not going to stop them. And, you know, there's some truth to that. Cut with the kookery, cut with the weirdness, and look at the facts. Most of what goes on in the world is not some grand scheme. Most of what goes on in the world is just normal people doing normal, little, smart, and stupid things. And the best thing you can do is just wise up to the things that are important. Look at, look at, uh, you know, balance your own budget. Don't overspend. You, you should be saving a little bit, or you should be investing in something that's going to, going to show up somewhere down the road. Get a hobby that, w that will lead you to being able to sell something after 10 years or so. You know, I, you can make something for people. Go do something constructive with your time. Save your money or, or put your time into learning a skill. You know, build up, focus on that stuff. Be, be good at what you do. Don't, don't look at the world around you and freak out. Con continue to grow, continue to look at what's important in your own life. If you want to work with a company or if you want to go work for a company or you want to choose a good boss or employee, look at their ability to deliver. Look at the stuff they have done. When they tell a story about someone, go meet that person. Meet the person in their stories. Don't just listen to their stories about those people. How can you actually learn about something if you don't meet people? I mean, meet people, talk to people, do things. I've got to get to the point. It's easy to think that nothing means something. When our priorities zero in on seeing God in coincidences and the wonderful work of our leaders or terrible, destructive schemes to move us all to the moon as Martian slaves, we miss the problems right under our noses. We are surrounded by fakes and phonies all across our social circles. People we feel guilty about thinking less of, who aren't as good at normal stuff most people are, they are the ones who don't disclose even half of their secret lives. Don't worry about sneaks. Just keep sharp about what matters. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.